Hi everyone and welcome to IT Chronicles 10 and Tech, coming to you from Knowledge 18 in Las Vegas. I'm Kirsty McGowan, I'm here with my co-host Carlos Casanova. Hey Kirsty. Hey Carlos. And one of our favourite guests, of course, we are chatting with Ken Gonzalez from the Gartner. Esteemed Ken Gonzalez. Yeah, oh, yeah. Re <laughs> wow. Research Director at, uh, at Gartner. And I hear you've, you're the vendor lead for ServiceNow. Yeah, so as of January of this year, uh, uh, ServiceNow had not had a vendor lead at Gartner. Mm -hmm. And I was asked to take mm -hmm. that on. Mm -hmm. And I'm actually very proud and excited to be starting that. Great. So what's the exciting stuff you see coming out of uh, Knowledge 18? I think the thing that will probably get kind of glossed over uh, and not given the, an appropriate amount of consideration mm -hmm. is the shift to the whole you. Mm -hmm. the, the thing I think is different about it is up until now, when you look at the power button, you look at the way that ServiceNow has historically sold products and engage with customers. It's been about almost kind of like, hey, we're providing tooling. Yep. And yep. generally in the industry, people talk about it as, oh, ServiceNow provides mm -hmm. tooling. Yep. We've been suffering with that for quite a long time, yep. all across the ITSM mm -hmm. market. Sure. And I think that ServiceNow taking and making this move is actually a really great thing. Yep. Uh, because it <clears throat> starts to take the emphasis from tooling to being part of, hey, there's something we need to do. Right. There's some part that ITSM and all the other application stacks play in fulfilling the mission mm -hmm. of the organization yep. that you just can't address from a tooling perspective. Yep. It's right. always gonna come up short. Yep. So we're gonna have to effectively deal with customer mm -hmm. maturity, actually being interested in business outcomes. Right. Oh and that's a scary <laughs> thought. Yeah, yeah. That's, 2018. that's pretty Yay. tough. Yeah. <laughs> And I think that part of the challenge ServiceNow is going to have in making the move is sustaining in the face of so many people who've been tool oriented, mm -hmm. yep. helping them through the transition to go yep. to, okay, what's next? How are we going to look at this in a way that still <coughs> allows us to have a meaningful tooling conversation, but shift our focus right. so that we're now going forward on a, a meaningful basis. Right. Yeah, it's really, I mean, that shift that, you know, again, a lot of us that, you know, this is new to a lot of us, right, that yeah. have really been always viewed it as, you know, what are the principles we're trying to get, and it's that business thing. So, you know, the, the, the shift from tools to solutions, I, yeah. I think is kind of how I encapsulate it, is great to see, mm -hmm. because obviously with the power that they have in the market space, rather than being just uh, individuals kind of trying to push that yeah. concept, you know, it'll be interesting to see how it is, but, you know, the challenge is there because it is a new story or a shift in story to get the, you know, the credibility and sustainability amongst those leaders, leaders that they've been working with to push that. I mean, I think we all agree that that is absolutely the appropriate way and, and the only way to realize the value on, um, on stuff. So, you know, talk maybe a little bit about some of those struggles that you envision them encountering, you know, with all of their clients. You know, hey, you know, we've been a tool solution thing, now mm -hmm. we're a business solution thing. Well, so I, I think a, a part of it they're already dealing with and dealing with pretty effectively. Um, as of the, I think it was the January earnings call uh, to cover uh, the ending of 2017, moving into the next year and setting expectations mm -hmm. with the financial analysts. Uh, John Donahoe talked about that it was a significantly high percentage of the deals that were multi-product. Okay. And that's one of the things that I'm seeing is right. They're, they're not just calling and saying, hey, we want ITSM. Yeah. Right. We want mm -hmm. ITSM plus this, plus this, yeah. plus this. Mm -hmm. While enterprise service management is a bit of a, it, it's, it's a strange conversation. Yeah. Because the um, enterprise service management was a function of a, a creation. Yep. Service now, great marketing, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Being able to help kind of telegraph a punch and start to create mm -hmm. a need. Yep. And I remember in San Francisco when this was released, you know, there was a bunch of us there and we were like, oh yeah, good stuff. Glad you actually <laughs> caught up with us. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> but I think that now, the, while it may not necessarily be mature, there are, there's something inside of it which actually needs to not only get respected, but actually mm -hmm. trumpeted. Right. And I think that by looking at it from also the, where it connects with the individual, Yep. and what they need to get done. That's where it's gonna help us actually build that bridge into the business. 
Right. So we, I mean, I think we've talked to a lot this morning with the people who've been on already about, you know, getting rid of that friction and yep. and providing real business value at the end. So, so this you see that is the path that we're going through is to to remove that that yep. bit in the middle that slowed everything down and yeah. just get to solutions. Last time I was here, I talked about some of the research mm. that I was working on with regards to mm. customer experience. Yep. And I, I, I was like, okay, we're going to get this done, and yep. it's going to be. Well, the fact of the matter is I was delayed on getting it done because uh, the more I dug into it, the more that I found that needed to get included. Mm -hmm. yep. And that's on track for being able yep. to be out uh, late Q3, early mm -hmm. Q4 of this right. year. Uh, and it happens to actually line up nicely with what we've been seeing mm -hmm. here and what I see in the rest yep. of, of the marketplace, how we can actually focus on those. And the way I describe mm -hmm. it is when people are in an organization, they're out to fulfill a mission. Yes. Right? Because yep. the organization doesn't exist mm -hmm. just because, hey, <laughs> yeah. let's yeah. have an organization. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. It'd be nice to be around you. Yeah. But you can't mm -hmm. actually get the revenue you need. Yeah. You, yeah. you aren't serving mm -hmm. the people you mm -hmm. need to justify your existence, right? Right. So everybody in the organization has something that they do on behalf of that to fulfill yep. the mission. Yep. So a mission essential mm -hmm. task. How do you capture that, quantify it, describe it, in a way that actually will end up being able to, oh, we can do this in IT, and this will serve the person that's yes. actually fulfilling that mission essential task. Mm -hmm. right. So that's what the research yep. is intended to uh, actually address. And it maps on quite nicely to the people that they brought into service now and what they're working yep. on. Right. Yeah, I mean, along those lines, what, yeah, a couple of things we've uh, also discussed is, is that continuity you know, from the initial business ask through the you know, development and the delivery yeah. of it, <clears throat> the ability for people you know, downstream to understand you know, they've got 17 tasks. They don't have visibility mm -hmm. into the prioritization that it had initially on the business side. Right. Yeah. They just have prioritization on, I have 17 tasks, and yeah. we work in a first in, first out model, and really no vision on that. And I work on a different queue than you work, so mm -hmm. the overall ask is held up because I've got it in number eight, you know, you've yeah. got a number one, you've got yeah. a number 35. I got mine done quick. Why did I bother mm -hmm. to get it done quick? You know, so I think if we can start getting that, you know, those breadcrumbs all tied together yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> and understand, hey, I need to elevate my prioritization on task one because it's, you guys already finished yours mm -hmm. to get that quality out and understand that. That's where I think we've, it's been broken. You know, it's yes. frankly, that's, it's just, mm -hmm. there's been two different entities and no concept of mm -hmm. why am I doing this? What's the value? Is this is this worth doing? Frankly, yeah. yeah. You know, should do I know I have twenty others and yeah. I can do these together? And you know, there's a, a larger uh, you know save. You know, we were talking to Janine earlier yeah. about just be, yeah, just because <coughs> something has been asked for doesn't mean we should be doing it. Right. Yeah. And it's not necessarily the way we should be doing yeah. it. You know, yeah. so uh, it's it's kind of it's, I mean, it is great mm -hmm. that you know we're finally seeing you know the the whole weight you know the full weight of a service now kind of push in that direction. Uh, so, you know, it's hopeful, you know, looking forward to your uh, your customer data you know, yeah. coming out. I think yeah. that will yes. really support a lot of these well, uh, I mean, discussions. To support your point, part of the reason why I was delayed was because uh, there are two different camps. There's mm -hmm. customer experience and there's yeah. employee experience. Yes. And I'm calling BS on that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We need to stop the artificial distinction between right. the two. It's While awesome there are now. things that yeah. you might actually want to consider that are distinct. Right. Experience design and management is what's behind it all. Yeah. So you have a common foundation for technique and a way of aligning that so yeah. that everybody finds their place with what needs to get yeah. done. I mean, really, if your employees are having a good experience, that actually is going to go on to your customers anyway and give yes. them a good experience. And, and, they, and many of them wear both hats. Yeah. yeah. In, in mm -hmm. one you know, engagement, they're a customer, and in another yes. engagement, they're an employee. So how do you yeah. give them different Mm -hmm. quality of service yeah. essentially yeah. so and so. it's also why you can't go through and be so dogmatic about service provider and consumer yes. customer yeah they you, wear a lot of hats yeah, <laughs> yeah. exactly yeah. Yeah. well ken as always fun talking to you it's uh yeah great to have and you to here you too as, as well i'm so glad to be back and yeah. so glad to be talking to you yeah. guys yeah, thanks no, it's a pleasure appreciate thank it thank you